Hey everyone, welcome back to the weather. Once again, warm temperatures across the interior. Almost a record high today. We're only two degrees shy of the record high. And I'm sure the roads are going to be really very nasty this evening, so keep that in mind when you're out and about driving around. Photograph tonight, this is a postcard photograph. Once again, our good friend Trevor Gridley, able to capture the, uh, the great one along the Denali Highway there. What a beautiful shot. The colors are just majestic. And again, a great photograph. As always, if you have a photograph to share, send it to me at uh, photos at ktbf11.com. Well, the numbers look like this. Like I said, our high today, 45 degrees. The uh, overnight low is 2 degrees, uh, where normally it would be 6 below. Record high, 47, 1988. We came close, 41 below in 1930. And our sunrise and sunset uh, working out to about 11 hours and 23 minutes of daylight, a gain of 7 minutes from yesterday. Satellite and radar, look at the flow coming right out of the south. That's why we warmed up so dramatically today and all the precipitation being blocked out by the Alaska range. So just mainly high clouds around the area over southeast Alaska, a little more weather happening there. And in fact, uh, on our map, you can see looking at lots of rain across southeast Alaska, 47 degrees at Ketchikan, even Anchorage warm, 42 degrees. Some snow shower activity at Bethel, only nine there and four degrees at dome for the finish of the Iditarod with a blowing uh, uh, snow also a problem there. Lower 48 weather, let's see what's going on down there. As you can see, sunshine is broken out across the Pacific Northwest. Cold temperatures once again returning to the, uh, the northern plains and some snow in the forecast too. Lots of rain over the deep south. Our storm system looking at this as you move along rapidly, uh, gaining strength and moving across to the eastern side of the country. And uh, by uh, tonight and tomorrow, the Santa Ana winds are expected to return to California and down trees, gusts to 60 mile an hour, and uh, maybe some probably brush fire problem, uh, problems too also. Real quickly, looking at the jet stream, you see again the cold air way up to the north, but being pulled in across the northeast by this weekend. All right, back to Alaska for tomorrow. The northern sections, blowing snow at barrels, snow showers for Nome, cloudy skies at Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, looking at the winds diminishing for Haley and Delta Junction, not as warm as it was today in Fairbanks tomorrow. And over southeast Alaska, a mix of snow and rain at uh, Juneau, and just rain showers at Ketchikan, while out to the southwest, we're looking at uh, snow showers at Bethel, snow in Cold Bay, and rain and snow for Kodiak Island. And if you're heading on down the Anchorage Bull area, mainly light snow in the Anchorage area, snow at Valdez, and partly cloudy skies for Homer. Once again, time for our kids' weather, and this week we're talking with the kids from Badger Road Elementary School. Here's a young lady with a picture. Hi, my name is Sarah, and Mrs. Castle's fifth grade class at Badger Road Elementary School. This is my weather picture, and in the background is a sunset, and then on the hills there is grass with snow that is drying up and it's in the springtime. And tomorrow night a young man will be here with an interesting weather question. Here's your forecast for the remainder of the night. Two degrees above zero, cloudy skies. Tomorrow's forecast calling for 27 degrees, not nearly as warm as it was today, but still very nice. And the extended forecast calling for another warm day on Thursday, 40 degrees, then slowly cooling off into the weekend, but still temperatures up way above normal. And overnight lows also warming up. Uh, as you can see, daytime highs, very warm. Overnight lows, not too bad. Still in the single digits above and uh, no precipitation in the forecast.